Hi, my name is Anis Griffoni and welcome to how to deploy an initial configuration of the load balancer virtual appliance. This video will take about 6 minutes, so let's start. After my first video introduction, I have to say a huge thanks to the loadbalancer.org team, which they gave me the opportunity to review for the second time their virtual appliance. And today I'm going to review the local configuration step by step. In the first tab on the local configuration menu, the host name and DNS should be quite self-explanatory. A designed configuration to plan for the load balancer is to add it as a local host or internally with a defined domain name. I've also added the appliance administration manual where you can better understand the different topologies in use and the correct load balancing methods available for your needs. For each tab is also available a quick view or a full explanation of the correct settings to use during the initial configuration. On the network interface configuration tab you can enable interface bonding combining two network cards together for high availability and better throughput. Three different bonding modes are available to use and remember that a full appliance start is required. So, let's test it. Just for training and demonstration on bond zero, you can also add additional IP addresses from different networks using automatic NAT. In routing, you can configure the default gateway and other static routes if required by your network team. If you're not sure, just leave everything as automatic. And now I'm going to use the SSH connection to the appliance. System date and time is also quite easy to understand. On physical advanced configuration, you can also add any internal proxy settings if your load balancer is hidden behind a firewall. And if you want to collect and organize information, you can also use the simple network management protocol. On graphing, you have multiple packet collection settings useful for statistics and troubleshooting. And from the execute shell command, you can easily verify and troubleshoot any kind of configuration settings. And we are now near the end of this video, so on the loadbalancer.org lab domain, 
we're going to verify which port and services are available on our Exchange servers. Before to apply any change on the load balancer, it's recommended to generate an archive, configuration and log file. Just for training and demonstration, in this video I've used Google Chrome and Internet Explorer with no issue at all. And if you want to practice, here the correct way to reset the appliance to factory default. So thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel or let's keep in touch through my website for any kind of request. Bye!